Listen, Rob Patterson always finds his light. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no matter turned. where, that's like he the worst, my least <laughs> talent. Working with Christopher Nolan was a dream. Uh, I haven't seen the film yet, so I got to make sure I made it first. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I made the cut, then uh, it'll be that much more enjoyable. I still sort of can't believe that I have gotten the chance to work with the Christopher Nolan. I don't know about you guys, but I wasn't even told it was a movie. It was like, do you want to do a meeting with Chris Nolan? Right. Yeah, cool. I mean, there was no mention of it anywhere. You chose to die instead of giving up your colleagues. That test you passed? Not everybody does. Welcome to the afterlife. It was really hard, this shoot. And also, I was, I was only doing basically a third of what John Dave was doing. And I was, I basically think, I, I felt like I had mono. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so and dramatic. Like, and like, uh, and then John Dave, like, literally every day, from as soon as arriving, his arrival on set until the end of the day, just buoyant the whole time. And it was kind of, it was a really necessary energy to have. I completely agree with all of that. And to have you, I feel really <laughs> emotional, <laughs> but, but really like it, you, you're an extraordinary person. And it comes from this sort of like, there's just this well of positivity and commitment to building sort of like, I don't know, you kind of, we're in it for the marathon, but every day you just kind of sprinted through it as well and you gave it everything. Working with Elizabeth, I mean, I was a fan before we started. There couldn't be any false moments in that, in that, in that time that we even rehearsed to, to starting to shoot it because she's so present, she's so honest, and it brings, uh, it brought a performance I wasn't prepared to give, but I'm glad it happened because sitting opposite her, I was able to do that. All I have for you is a word. Tell it. It'll open the right doors, some of the wrong ones, too. Listen, Rob Patterson always finds his light. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no matter turned. where That's like he the is. worst, my least <laughs> talent. Wherever he is in the car, he just, oh, damn, he just, his pie is like, damn. Every time you, you came to set, you look like you'd been on some beautiful vacation, <laughs> and we were like, are we in the same movie? Like, yeah. golly. I mean, no, just, uh, it, it just, Rob, is, I, I love the man. Obviously, he's abundantly talented, but just the, the, the soul of the man, the person that he is, too, made, made me feel like I was in good hands. There wasn't any type of upstaging or any kind of competition or anything like that, which can happen sometimes. It was quite the opposite. You know, it, it was a safe place, a safe place to and be insecure. <laughs> uh, I, I really trust you so much. I trust you so much as a scene partner, but I also actually physically had to trust you quite often. <laughs> yeah. You're incredibly oh, trustworthy. Yeah. That's right. Because Weird. you sort of click into something and it's just like I would do. I mean, me and John David did lie to you quite significantly. You did? Quite a, quite a lot. We, we... When you felt safe and we're like, don't worry, you're safe. And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we om om omitted like a lot, you know. You it was did? like a mission. I don't I know if you lied. But I, I kind of knew you were doing it. I just kept, I went, okay, and then I closed my eyes and then let you do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, God. Teamwork. Right? But I They're felt there was, a, there was a security in your grip, let's say that. Tara. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I really got it. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, didn't adrenaline. Know that. You didn't know that, right? I didn't know that. No, I, I thought you guys had me. Yeah, we really did. We did. A number of times. We had you. Don't listen to me. We had you. <laughs> Great. Well, you have to start looking at the world in a new way. And try to understand it. Feel it. Every single element of this movie is like, is this actually happening? I've never seen a director yeah. mm -hmm. who's next to the camera the entire day. The team that we worked on this film with was so tight and we sort of grew tighter as we went along and every time we'd sort of wrap up one location and then it was almost like a refresher. You know, you sort of land in England and you're sort of doing something different and then you guys went to India and then we were in Estonia and so you sort of get to sort of wipe the slate clean. It seemed like the film was taking on different personalities based on the uh, locations we were on. 
I have to say, too, like because of the relationships Chris, Mr. Nolan has um, developed with his team, there's a sense of like we know what to do already. At the same time, there's a great sense and feeling of discovery and the unknown. That's what I live for, to, to sort of get comfortable, get to know um, uncomfort, you know, and welcome it with open arms and find, you know, some great things, you know, artistically and in, in the way we express ourselves in front of the camera.